here is some application. In this question, they give you two lines uh, together with the equations of uh, each lines. And also, we have to find the area of triangle ABC here. In order to find out the area, there is something that we need. We need to get the base and the height. But in coordinate, very important thing is uh, we can easily find out the vertical distance and horizontal distance. So, compared with this two line segment, I will choose AB to be our base or height. And then now I'm going to choose AB to be the base, which means that the vertical, the perpendicular distance will be the height. This is what we need to find. And then our area will equal to 1 over 2 base AB times the height here. Now we need to work on AB. We just focus on A. We can get the position, that means the y-intercept here. For L2, we can also get the y-intercept here, which means that I need to know the height here and also to know the height here. Point A, that means L1. At point A, x is equal to 0. That's how you find out the intercept point. So we copy down L1 first because it's lying on L1. X is 0, so 2y minus 10 is left. We can easily find out that y is equal to 5. That means the height here is 5. And then we have to find out another point B. So at point B, just exactly the same calculation. X equal to 0, because we are talking about y-intercept. L2 equations. 5x minus 4y minus 8 equal to 0. So x equal to 0. Then we have negative 4y and minus 8 left. Both sides divide by negative 4, we get negative 2. So the height here is negative 2. Which means that the vertical difference here is a difference between 5 and negative 2. Then the difference is 5 minus negative 2, which is equal to 7 units. So we already have AB. This distance is 7 units. Now the question is about the height. Height is about the differences between the y asset and point C. So in order to know how far away it is, we just need to get the x coordinate of point C. At point C, it is the point of intersection of two lines. So fulfill the first requirement, fulfill the second requirement. I just need to know C is from origin. Go right by how many steps. I just need to know this distance. So uh, I don't want Y and I try to make Y be the same. Both sides times 2 in the first equation. And then add them together. It's because plus 4y at negative 4y will give you 0y. Therefore, x is equal to 4. So, uh, that means to go to point C from origin, we go right by 4 and then go up by something. Uh, but I don't care, I just need to know the width here. So, the height here is 4. And then which is enough for us to get the uh, the area is 14 units square.